Hello and welcome to your first Korean class. Today I will be teaching you guys three basic Korean phrases that you can use and also the Korean alphabet. This class is quite difficult um, so I am going to try to explain this as easily and as simply as possible but because the Korean, the Korean language is a little bit different from the English language it might be quite difficult to understand but you are all bright students so I am expecting you guys to follow through very well I am going to first show you guys the phrases and then explain how you read Korean. The three phrases that I am going to teach you today are Hello Thank you And I love you. Okay, so let's start off with hello. There is two ways you can say hello. And hello is, if you say it, is equivalent to bye in Korean. It is an young, an young, an young, and you can read this. Oh, have you guys taken out your notebooks? If not, please open up your notebooks and take out a pen. An young, and you, if you want to pronounce it, it's an. Annyeong. I'm going to erase the thank you and I love you and I will teach you guys that a little bit later. You can say this when you're meeting someone or when you're saying goodbye to them. But this is the informal way of saying it. If you're talking to an elder or someone like your teacher or a stranger, you would say an Oops, Annyeong Ha Se Yo. If I write that so that you guys can pronounce it, it would be Annyeong Ha Se Yo. Annyeong this would be the formal version, so you would use this to teachers, strangers, elders, while you would use annyeong to friends or underclassmen or someone who is in a lower position, I guess. Um, in Korea, elders and young, the younger, there is a very big difference. So whenever you're talking to an elder, you would always have to speak in formal form. Okay, so that is how you say hello 
어, but you cannot say 안녕하세요 or bye. You have to say there are a lot of ways to say bye, but you would only say 안녕하세요 as a hello, never as a bye. But 안녕 can be interchangeable. Okay, so let's get rid of this. What I'm going to teach you is thank you. Thank you. And I'm going to tell you three ways of how to say this. The first, the informal way, so you would say this to your friend or maybe a younger sibling, is Komawa. 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 So this would be informal and you can say this. Ko ma wa. Komawa. And the formal way of saying this would be Kam Sa Ham Ni Ta Which you would write or pronunciation wise Kam Sa Ham Ni Ta Now Another way you can say this, this is the in, informal and there are two ways of saying thank you more formally. This, number one, it is used more commonly. Number two, not many people use it. I would, I will give you an example on how you can use this. Are you writing this down? Good. You can also say, ko ba Oops, ta, or which is a switch of this, or koma wayo. So koma psumnita or koma wayo. Again, there is the yo at the end, and um, in many Korean words or phrases, the yo sh signals an, an, um, a formal speech. There is a formal conversation going on. So instead of saying 안녕, I would say 안녕하세요 to an older. And instead of saying 고마워, I could say 고마워요. So that is phrase number two, which is thank you. And then phrase number three is I love you. And you can say I love you. I I love you. And you would say I love you by first I will also do informal, which is Sarang He. Is sarang he. Sarang he. Or you can do the formal way of saying this. Sarang he. Yo. Which is sarang he. Yo. Okay. 
사랑해, 사랑해요. 사랑해, 사랑해요. Again, there is a yo to signal that it is some kind of a formal speech. Uh, okay, is, is everyone caught up? Okay, then I will now move on to the alphabets in Korea, Korean language. Okay, now in the Korean language, I would say some people might call it cons consonants and diff well, they might divide it up into consonants and vowels. To make things a little easier, I'm going to split it up into bases and accents. So, or you can base or consonants either way. The base or the main body of how the word or the letter is made up is by these bases. I know this is very complicated, but try to concentrate. Now, while in the English language or many, many European languages, we have the alphabet, so it's something like A, B, C, D, etc. And this is one letter. In Korea, you have many different parts that come into one, and that would make a sound. And that would be one letter, if that makes sense. So, I am going to show you guys. What I call the base of the word or the letter that we're going to make. Okay, so we have Kia, Dian, Tigat, Dil, Miam, Piup, Shiot, Iam, Chigat, Chigat, Kyok, Tigat, Piup, Hyut. And I'm going to show you the sounds that they make. So, Kyok makes some kind of G or a K sound. Nian makes a N N sound. Tigat makes a T D or a T sound. Um, Riel makes an R or an L sound. Mium makes a M sound. Piup makes a B or a B or a P sound. And S makes, Shiot makes an S sound. Iung makes a, it's, this is not a, a O, it's a Ng, this Ng sound, Ng. This sound, this one is quite difficult, so put a star next to it with a red marker. Makes an ng sound. Chiat makes a j sound. Chiat makes a ch sound like cha. Kiat makes a k sound. Tigat makes a t sound. Piat makes a p sound, and Hiat makes an h sound. So I call this the base, um, write this down, and this is what we're going to be calling the base or the consonants of the Korean alphabet. Okay, next, I am going to show you guys what I call the accents, or you guys can call the vowel. But I was trying to make this lesson as easy as possible since the Korean language can be a little confusing if you have only been learning languages such as French, Spanish or English. If you have learned Mandarin, Chinese or Japanese, you this will be a lot easier for you, especially if you've learned Japanese because the Japanese alphabet 
works a little similar to the Korean alphabet. Now, the next set of the alphabet I am going to call the accents or the vowels. And it's ah, uh, ah, uh, ya, o, yo, o, yo, o, yo, u, i, e, ye, ye, wa, wo, wo, i, ui. Now, I'm going to put a little cross here because this is a little more advanced, but I am just going to write it down and show you guys anyway. So let's go through them again. This is a ya o ya o yo u yu u i e ye. I am going to show you guys and write this one down again because people get confused. This is an A with an E, and this has two, like, this is, an, it looks like an H, but this is like a ladder, it has two parts, and this is, yeah. Okay, so, A, which is A, Ya. O, o, yo, o, yo, u, which is like a u, and then this is like a u, a, ya, o, yo, o, u, U, U. This is an U. U. This is an E. A ya o yo o yu. U yu. U i. Um. This I am not going to go through today just because if I was taking this class I would not be understanding anything further than this. So I'm going to erase this but just know that this is the alphabet but basically this is just made up by using a and the e and a ya and the e and the I don't know and the o and the a and the o and the e and the u and the e and it's just you can use these a lot okay so let's rub this one off hope you guys are following okay so i call these the vowels or the accents and the reason why i say that is Remember the first part that we did, the consonants? We had the kiak, lian, tikat, liel, mian, piak, shiat, ing, tikat, tikat, kiak, tikat, piak, hiat. I'm gonna show you guys how to put these together to make a word. So, first, example I'm going to give you is the word potato and the pot and potato in Korean is kamja kamja so if you want to say that it's kam cha you can put an h at the end if you want to pronounce the a if you guys can see this ch 
makes a J sound and then you have this this little vowel or accent and it's the A uh sound that's basically it now this let's go back deeply into this first letter that we have I'm going to erase it all hopefully you guys have this written down so I won't have to repeat myself okay so the word kam kamja which is potato we have a kyok right which makes a g sound or a k sound so kyok ka and then we have the a so it's ka ka and this is something called the ending sound now the ending sounds can be a vowel but most of the time it is going to be a consonant or the base so we have the first we have the base which is the kyok then we have the accent which is the a uh, so it's ka this is ka this itself is ka but then we also have the ending sound which we have the b so instead of ka it's going to be kam because this makes an m sound remember so it's going to be kam so if you read it all together it's going to be ku ka ku ku kyok ku a kam kam and then we have again the base which is chi ch ch and then again we have a as the accent so it's going to be cha chi ch a kam cha does that make sense? So that's how you read Korean, if that makes any sense. I am going to do another word and show you guys kind of something a little more difficult. So, the word apple. In Korean, it is sagwa. Now, sagwa. Again, we have the a uh sound here and here. Now it's a shit. We have a shit. So we're going to, as the base, put shit, which makes an s sound. And then add the accent or the vowel, we are going to have the a. Uh, so. so it will be sa. 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 And for the second letter, we're going to have as the base the um, kyok again. Same from kamja, kyok, g. It makes the g sound, right? And then we have instead of going right here, we're going to go down first. So we have o. We have the o sound, o. So it's kuo, kuo. And then we also have the a uh sound, so it's going to be kua, kua, kua. So it's sa, kua, sa, gua. And you can say this by sa, kua. It is a little difficult, but hopefully you guys are understanding. Now, the last word I am going to teach you guys today is how to say my Korean name. And my Korean name is Song On. And I will be teaching you guys how to write it and read it. And if you guys, um, and I will be doing some other names, common names, so you guys may be able to use your name. So first, my name, it is 
home in English you would write it like this Tongon. so if you want to write that in Korean we have the S so we're going to find a base which has a sound and that is Shi so, uh, and then we have the uh, so. so we're going to use the uh, as the accent and then remember the ng ng sound it's going to be the i told you to put a little star with a red marker next to it mm -hmm. it is the young so we're going to have the uh. and we also have on but it also makes an uh, uh sound so what we're going to do is another young and then uh Aww. And then for the ending sound, we are going to have a dian. A little difficult, but hopefully you guys kind of understand. Korean takes a few, I mean any language, takes a few tries to fully understand. Now, thank you for being so patient and listening so well. I'm going to teach you guys a few common English names. So, and I'm going to write them down in Korean so that you guys can see. Okay, that the first name I'm going to do is Maria. And for the M sound, we're going to have to find a M. -m. And then it's Ma. Ma. So we have to have the a uh, sounding vowel or the accent again, and then we have a re, ria. But in Korean, there is no an r, r sound, but we do have a r sound, like an l. So it would be ma, li, a. Uh. That's how a Korean would say Maria's name. So instead of Maria, it would be Maria. So, ma, li, a. And we also have this a sound again. Now, maybe, let's, oh, what's a difficult name? What about a name like Matthew? Matthew. So, we have a Matthew. Again, we have the M sound going on, so we're going to use the BM again. So it's MA, MA, so we have the A again. But then we don't have a TH sound, like a TH, like a TH, like there. We don't have this TH sound, but we do have a T sound, we only have a T sound. So we're going to use the T sound here. T and then we're going to use the EU, but instead of doing matu, we're going to make it a U sound, so it's going to be machu. So, if you would like to say Matthew's name in a Korean accent, it would be ma chu. Something like that. I will do two more names. Um, I will do the name, maybe the girl name, Sophie. So, we have Sophie. It's an S sound, so we're going to need a S, 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 or So, So, or So, C. But we don't have a or an F sound so we're going to just ignore the H and just use the P so it's so P P P the E so it's so P that's how you say a Korean person would say Sophie's name and let me choose another guy's name what about something like 
Thomas. So Thomas, it's a T sound, right? So we're going to use the T again. To, to. So it's an O, like Sophie. To, 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 ma. So we're going to have an M sound. Ma so beam. Ma a a a a a a. R again. We do to ma, and then we need a S sound. So this is going to be shield, like Sophie. And a uh. So this would be to ma so that's how you would an English person would say it. Wow. I hope this was a little interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed the class. Um and before you guys go, let's review the three phrases that we went through today. We went through hello, thank you, and I love you. So, oh, and I'll teach, also teach you guys how to say yes and no. So we have hello, which is an all of the words, I'm just going to now do the informal version because, I mean, even though formal is mo more highly used in Korea, if a foreigner comes to Korea and uses informal language, no one will be mad. And you guys are mostly all foreigners in this class, so, annyeong, and you, this is interchangeable with bye. Annyeong. Annyeong. And then we have thank you, which is Komawa. Ko ma wa. And we also have, last but not least, Saranghe. Sa he, which is sarang he. This is mostly most commonly used between Koreans, Korean Americans, or people who speak Korean and want to type it in English. But if you want to be more precise in the pronunciation, it is sa rang he. Annyeong, Komawa, Sarange. So this is hello, hello. Komawa, which is thanks. And Sarange, which is I love you. Okay, now, lastly, before you guys leave the classroom I am going to teach you guys how to say yes and no yes can be said by saying ng or de which is this is the informal this is the formal so it's ng and Ne. No is there are three ways of saying it. No is ani. Shira is this is um there is two ending sounds, but I didn't get into that. Shira is mostly it's kind of saying dislike, but you can also say um, shira when someone asks um, do you want to go to bed or um, do you want to go somewhere instead of saying no, you can say 
shit up, which is like dislike, but it, mostly you can mostly most commonly ani is no, or you can say it formally, which is ani yo. So, did you guys enjoy the class? And you guys would say there, because I'm the teacher. Or you can say anio, which is no, but you would say it in a formal version because I'm a teacher. If a friend asks you after class, did you enjoy the Korean class? You can say ung, or you can say ani. Okay, well, I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed your first Korean class. I hope that I will see you guys soon and maybe next time I can show you guys a few Korean, famous Korean cultured food or Korean pop music. I know that's um, getting quite big other in other places than Korea so I will see you guys next time and thank you for tuning in. Bye guys.